Is that a guy? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. It all started when I ran the lighthouse for some years. I proceeded to get the worst spawn in the game, so I checked here for some fuel, survival lighters, defuel, all that good stuff that sometimes will spawn in here. You'll get some rare spawns on the chair and table too, also on that little fallen bookcase. You check this for some marked keys. I've gotten some crazy marked keys in these runs. I've got three dorms marked keys just from checking them. Check this for some bitcoins and other rare spawns. Then you run over here and you look for a moonshine or bitcoin spawn. There's some really good stuff that spawns there. And then in here you get some more rare stuff like defuels and whatnot. Then you run over to this truck and it, people leave this. This will have Bitcoin, this will have the best shit and it's always left. No one will touch it. And then after you finish there, you run over to here and you loot that house, but we're not going to loot that today. We're just going to loot the rest of these. The, the house that we're missing is pretty straightforward. You run in there and check all the floor spawns in the jacket. And then you run into here, you check down here for some tech spawns like vertexes, tetrises, all that good stuff. You check that bench over there for some bitcoins, I've gotten it once or twice. And that chair has some good stuff sometimes. Intel on that little thing, and then we check there for some bitcoin again. And then you go in here for some good stuff. The room that I look at and just go past, you can go check for some gold chains and stuff, but we're not interested in that for right now. We'll make our way to the next house that gives us the mill tubes and other technical spawns. A lot of these houses are just for extra money, but most of the good stuff is on the open loots. But you can loot the boxes, loot the jackets, loot the you know bags for extra money because they do have good stuff in them. But you check this for mill tubes, rest spawns in that little bucket, and then you run over here. You check the container and the table for some tech spawns. And then after you're done with this bag, uh, not bag, box, you check the bag for some more keys if you like, and then you go into that room and you'll get some tech spawns. I've gotten GPUs in there a couple times. It's, it's not occasionally, but every once in a while you find something good there. After this house, you can loot Hillside House if you have the key. There is a little exploit to get that jacket without having the key, but I didn't put it in the video. If you want to know what it is, you can come on my stream and I'll show you there. These are just boxes we loot for extra money and tech spawns. You get defuels and all that in here. We grab those little uh, toothpaste things because they vent are pretty easy and it's just easy money. And then if we don't want to vendor it, we can use put labs cards. You check over here for a moonshine and then inside here for some more tech and fuel spawns. Jacket obviously for more dorms keys if you like. You can check that thing on the right for another toolbox and tech spawns, but I just ignore it because here's the good money. You get sugar on that table, uh, not table, the bed. You get fuel where I just aimed and this is where you sometimes get some rest spawns. If the other parts have nothing, you usually come check there and you find something. But this is where the big money is. The Bitcoins, the Aces, the Vertex, the VPX, the everything. And then that table has some good stuff sometimes. That ironing board. And then you check the jackets bags. Check this table for Intel. You check here for Bitcoins. All those three spots will have a chance. And then after we finish there, we make our way to what I like to call blue. In this run, we're not going to be showing the safes, but the safes and the rooms next to the safes you'll want to loot because they'll have decent loot that you can add. But we just go here for the two green boxes for um, uh, Red Rebel Spawn. Then we run into here to check for morphines, mules, all that other good stuff. Check here for some attachments and sugar. And then you run in here and look at the pro kills. Bitcoins are supposed to spawn there. I've seen it, but I haven't got it myself. You get good stuff here, obviously. Everyone knows that. 
and then you run in here, you check here for some random tech spawns, check there, I've got an intel on that table before, multiple times. You run into this room and all these shelves will have bitcoins or intel spawns or gold chains. Check the bag if you like and then this table obviously has no more gold chain stuff. The best I've seen here is a gold chain. And uh, apologies for my screen doing some Monty shit, I don't know why it's doing that. It's just my After Effects, but then after we've done blue, we go over to here, we check that little crate. I've got a fuck ton of aces there. Yeah, more good shit on this dead body, obviously. You check here for some mules. And then you run over this little spot. The bags and stuff in this place you can loot too. I just ignore them in this front because we're here to check the respawns. There's occasionally respawns in those two spots that I checked just now, but it's not often. You run into here, you find some tech spawns there, you find some gold chains, money on these tables. Occasionally a vertex or something. I think I've got a Bitcoin once. And then you run into here and you check Intel on these two chairs. Check for water filters and magnets and more tech spawns there. You can loot those two boxes. One of them has a permanent Iskra, obviously. Weapon boxes always do. This chair, that table, and this chair will always have rare spawns if it's not looted. Most of the time. You'll find rare there. Here. Sometimes there, but I think they've changed it to just food and then Bitcoin on that box. And then we run into here, and people always ignore this spot, and I always get Bitcoins there. There's more spawns here. More rare spawns. Check here for some tech stuff, like keck tape and whatnot. Wrenches, the 100k, like bootlexes and stuff. And you check here for some good attachments if you're lucky. Toolbox you can loot too, but we ignore it, we run straight to the safe, we check the table for Bitcoins. Usually the back corner is where it will spawn the most, but it's also very uncommon. Check your safe for this, and then you peace out. We go to this room over here because I've gotten a Bitcoin a couple times, and then on this little desk, I'll aim it in a second right now, and you'll see Intel's there. I've gotten a couple from that, and it's nice. And then you just plop yourself out the back and boom. We can run to the stash, check for some goodies. And then we make our way to the chair on the rock. You'll usually find some more rare spawns like Bitcoins and stuff. And then after we're done with the chair, we will go check the heli for some dead spawns and tech spawns or mill spawns. And that's pretty much the rest of the run. After that, you can run straight to extract and you've made bank. I'll usually get anywhere from... Well, the worst runs I'll get 300k. The best runs I'll get like 2 mil. Like, there's golden stars here and shit. Signals sometimes spawn. And then, yeah, we make our way to extract and that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, sub, like, Catch me on Twitch and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.